channel. Today I'm going to do a review on the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation which looks like this. I have had this for about like a month or more than a month and I've really tried this baby out and I've used like different primers with it and I've really came to try it and play with it so I wanted to share my opinion with you guys. I know that there's a lot of other reviews out there but I just wanted to put my opinion out there anyway. So if you're interested just keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just read the what it is on the Sephora website and it just says that this is an oil free foundation that delivers full natural looking coverage with one drop for lightweight 16 hour wear. So about the one drop which is I think why I was kind of intrigued with it is because whenever you pump this out it's only like a little teeny bit and I was like what am I going to do with this one little bit but it goes a very very long way because the foundation is super pigmented so it really really gets and covers everything that you want it to cover. I will say that whenever you use a beauty blender, I do see that instead of one drop, I need two. But to me, that's not a big deal because I love how it looks with when I use the beauty blender. When I use the brush, I don't really like how it looks. It, I feel like you only need one drop with a brush, but I feel like it looks kind of streaky. And even if I like try to, you know, I blend it in really well... I don't know, maybe it's just that it's so liquidy and so pigmented. I feel like it's kind of streaky. So I go over it with, over my foundation that I applied with the brush with the Beauty Blender anyway. So I just go ahead and use the Beauty Blender and I like how it looks with the Beauty Blender more than I do with a brush. So yeah, that's one of the things that I have noticed. That I like how it looks better with a Beauty Blender and I think it looks more natural with a Beauty Blender than when I use a brush. As for the 16 hour wear, I do agree with that. It lasts a long, long time and it still looks good at the end of the day. I usually put it in the morning and then I go on through my day. And then during the night, you can see around my nose area and my T-zone that it is coming off. Like it is kind of gone already, but it's still like on my cheek areas where it's more normal then it stays it stays in place and it looks good but because my t-zone is super oily I kind of like rub on it and I especially now that it's sweaty on my forehead I go like this sometimes and my foundation comes off which is pretty normal for every other foundation that I've worn so it's not a big deal to me that I wipe it off sometimes I mean I know if I'm going to go somewhere important I won't be rubbing my face but yeah so the 16 hour wear, I agree with that, is super long lasting and I love how it looks at the end of the day. Even though sometimes I rub it off during my normal parts of my face, it looks super good. The one thing that everyone was super excited about this, found this foundation compared to other NARS foundations is that this one came with a pump, so that was really, really nice. And I think that the reason they came... This came with the pump is because of that one drop technology kind of thing. Um, this has a really small little squirt to it, so not a lot of product comes out. So it's kind of like really, really like small. So I'm going to show you guys how small it is so you guys can see how it squirts and also see how the formula is. So I'm going to just do it right there so you guys can see it, okay? So that is one little pump, which is pretty much that one drop. And as you can see, it is super runny. It's super liquidy. And I do find that I have to work quick with this foundation when I put it onto my face. So what I do is I do one side first and then I do the other because I feel like if I do the whole face um, right away and then it kind of like wherever I put like a little dot because what I do is I put it on the back of my hand get my finger and do dots on my face I feel like what when, when I do my whole face like dotted you can kind of see where it's kind of drying already like for the for the foundation and you can kind of see where it was you know where I had set it in the first place that's how I kind of feel with it um just sometimes I feel like you can see it so like see where it's like dry. What I would recommend this foundation for are people with normal to oily skin. I do not recommend this for dry skin unless you're really going to moisturize really really well. The reason for that being is that if you have dry patches 
with your dry skin. It does cling on to your dry patches like nobody's business. Like, it really, really clings onto there. And they're so noticeable. And it is a pet peeve of mine because I have oily skin, but my... I have dry patches on my face sometimes, especially around my nose area, so it is a pain in the butt that I have dry patches on my nose, and I feel like you can see them from a mile away. And with this foundation, I feel like it really clings onto the dry patches, and you can really, really see it. So if you have dry patches with your dry skin, I don't recommend it. It just clings on to nobody's, like, like nobody's business. Like... Seriously, it it is so noticeable with your dry skin, dry patches, not good. But if you don't have dry patches, um, then I just recommend you to really moisturize your skin and then put on the foundation. But dry patches, I don't recommend it. I don't, I don't, mm -mm. Lately what I've been doing for my dry patches is using my Clarisonic the day before and then I use the um, Boccia exfoliating peel gel thing that I hauled in another video. Um, and I find that that way I don't have dry patches and that way I don't have to worry about like the dry patches on my nose or anything for this one to be clinging. Now I also I wanted to say that layering the foundation more than two layers does not look that good. <laughs> I tried to see how good of a layering it I could do and two was the best that I could possibly do and the third one just looked really bad. Like I looked like I had this big fake mask on my face and that's not the look that I'm going for. If you want to go for that look, then maybe you could do it. But for me, that wasn't the look that I really liked. I like more natural kind of looks. So, like, a natural full coverage, if that's possible. But two coats was already kind of... You're, you're getting there. But three of this, like, no. I did not like how it looked. It just looked... I don't know. Like, it didn't look good at all on my skin. So, yeah. For... The layering, I would only do up to two layers. That's pretty much it for my skin, for my taste. That was pretty much it. I couldn't do no more because I looked really fake. And I'm not going for fake. <laughs> so that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So overall, I really like the foundation. But if I have dry patches, I'm not wearing this foundation because it really does show my dry patches really, really well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!